hi this is job khan welcome to my channel so in this video i'll cover nand gate and nor gate connection not the connection basically the circuit diagram with tinkercad so first of all we have to come to the tinkercad tinkercad oh my gosh tinkercad.com and you may need an account to log in so the dashboard would be like that after you log in with your credentials, like your email, a Google account, whatever. So first of all, come in here. Here's the design option, plus button, go in here. You'll see the design circuit and code box. So all design circuit, go to the circuit and you can do 3D design, which is, as you can see in here, some samples anyways. So first of all, we'll do NAND get connection. So Let's have a look at NAND gate diagram and tooth table. So this is a wait for the picture and let's rename it to NAND get circuit. DIGRM -I circuit diagram fine and it, we can see that all the components are in here this is the basic components you can see the breadboard which is important for to do raised to LED push buttons and we can if we go for the all we'll have lots of items okay lots of items now visible transistor then we have IC all the gear I see is available in here. The picture is still loading. My network is sucks sometime. Anyways, NAND get IC. And the NAND get IC number is 7400. And this is NAND get IC picture. This is the... Okay, I don't know what's wrong with the picture. Maybe there's lots of tabs available. So first of all what you have to do take the breadboard i'll show you the other things is later the area the breadboard and we have breadboard the small and mini i'll take the small one just drag and drop hovering your mouse you'll get it okay okay fine absolutely fine so this is the nand gate we have two inputs and one output so we can get the output one when uh, two inputs is zero or any input is one or zero. You can get the output, but we can get the output zero if if two inputs are one. Fine. And the NAND get IC is look like this is the NAND get IC, and we have got fourteen pins. The number 14 pin is the power source and the 7 is ground and 1 and 2 is the input, 3 is the output, 4 and 5 is the input, sorry, 6 and 7 is the input, 4 is the output, 13, 12 and 13 is the input, 11 is output, 8 and 9 is the input, 10 is the output, okay. So the IC number is 7404, you can search for like NAND get. So quad NAND get or we can search with IC number 7400. This is the IC, so set it in here. And let me sh tell you, these all are the series connection. If we have a connection in this point and we take the another connection from in this point, so all these are same connection. This is the same connection, series connection, series connection. These also the same series connection and series connection but in here this is the parallel connection like if we have a connection in here and one and another connection in here so this and this connection is not same but if we have a connection in here and another connection in here like we are setting a led uh, so we are setting an led so if we, if we added a kind of like a positive or negative in here and another in here so this is connected like this is the same this is a parallel but if we 
added a where in here and expecting that maybe it could connect this line no it's not happen it's not possible because this connection is parallel this connection is series okay no more explanation in here and we need a register uh, register a simple register so raised okay we need a raised this is the anode which means positive this is the cathode which is negative so when we are setting the raster in this parallel line in here so this connection and this connection is same so we don't need any wire connection and so since it's a positive anode and we'll get the output from here so you can see input input output and input input output does it match within here you can see this is the output connection maybe it's wrong something is wrong in here but i see it's quite okay and this is the ground connection this is the power connection and we need a power source peel the power today i'm just making lots of mistakes power supply positive and negative negative positive so this is the where uh, as you can see normal wear uh, hook up so we will work with normal wear and this is the color variation so black color that's fine and red that's okay and this is the anode connection will be connected with the output so we'll take a yellow color okay okay and take another connection and remember this parallel and this parallel are not same we need to connect it like this so now all these points are same okay it's not important so you're connecting in here from here so now this anode connection is connected through this where in this in this section and with this parallel connection this is now connected with this where in here so output okay fine and this is the negative so and this is the power power is positive so let's connect it through positive in here so as you can see this is a positive but it, this positive line is not connected with the power supply so what i can do let's connect it oh fine and now we need the negative connection for in for this terminal let's change the color okay fine now what you have to do let's see the truth table when two inputs is zero to input zero means the negative connection and one means the positive connection so when two inputs are zero you can get the output one that means the light will uh, light up like it will uh, working so let's connect negative negative runs the simulation oh we forget to ground it so we can ground in here if we ground we don't yeah okay <laughs> we don't know nothing it's fine absolutely fine so now the light will up like it's lightning or whatever we can say and when any input is one and another input is zero you can get output one but when two inputs are one output is definitely zero so it's zero zero now it's one zero output is one now it's zero and one 
output is 1 fine now two inputs are 1 when two inputs are 1 output is 0 so let's two inputs are 1 it's positive the output will be 0 so we just run the simulation but the light is not lightning so it's dark okay so that's the concept that's the thing of NAND gate and this is the NAND gate circuit diagram now we'll go for the NOR gate so let's rename the NAND gate to NOR gate diagram and we'll have a look at NOR gate NOR gate circuit NOR gate diagram and truth table and NOR gate I circuit so the NOR gate IC number is 7402 I can see in here let's open it and let's open it and we just simply remove this power connection also removed due to its connector so let's go for the NOR I'm so tired the time is 347 45 or how fast for how fast? No, I just forgot how to say. Oh, it's 15 to 4. <laughs> Anyways, that means 3, 50, 4, 45. So this is the NOR, NOR and this is the NOR gate. Let's connect it. And there have some difference. If we... Okay. See, this is the output and these two are input. Let's see this is the output and these two are input and all and other thing are same power and ground so we are grounding we are adding the power line change the color and now we need to add this line over in here so this is the output line output line output emote and input input so let's see that truth table when two input is zero we'll get output one if there is any input is one in nor gate we'll get the output zero but when two inputs are zero the output is one so already two inputs are zero. Oh no 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 two inputs are one in here so two inputs are zero we'll get the output one yes now if any input is one even if two inputs are one the output will be zero output is zero light is not working even if two inputs are one output is still zero so there's the thing there's the concept of nor gate and nand gate circuit diagram to treble ic number how does the ic works yeah and there are some little things like it's kilo ohm one register and voltage has 5 5 for the NOR and NAND gate all are same we can change the color of the light green two inputs are zero stop the simulation then we can change so it's lightning and we can add some motor like <laughs> if, if there is a motor vibration motor lots of things so we can do okay so when two inputs are zero we can get output one so this is the anode anode connection so let's take a connection from in here anode is positive fine and this is the negative mm, okay black okay when any input is one output will be zero fine output is zero light is not working motor is not working and zero rpm it's maybe around per minute yeah around per minute like in every minute how many round the motor can take how many round the fan can take so let's run and we can see Oh my gosh, my eyes is just plus because due to maybe over 
current let's remove it it's just for a fun I can add this connection from directly in here okay now I can see <laughs> yeah it's working and the light is working as well this is the fun fact this is not included so that's a thing that's all for today and in another video I'll think about to do which is CMOS CMOS connection you can see to transistor PMOS and NMOS power supply is switched to raised with 220 ohm and the two LED and we'll see the how does it works and the connection the diagram lots of things later with another video and if I do if I do I'll add the video link in the IBA end of this NAR and NAND and NORGET connection that's all for the today maybe how many time I took it's almost 16 minutes oh my god so anyways like and subscribe my channel that's the algorithm of YouTube I have to say anyways I don't care even if you if I get subscribe or not because I'm not regular anyways thank you so much even if anyone watch have a good day bye bye